Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an Xbox One controller overlay on screen for your recordings or streams. This will work that whenever you press a button on your controller, it will show up in a little preview like you can see on screen. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your Xbox controller plugged into your PC. I currently have mine connected in here. And then you're going to be coming to this link. Links are always in the description down below. Once we're here, we're going to be coming to the currently viewing option on the top. And we're going to be selecting our player one controller. From here, you then want to go to the right and make sure you have the right controller selected. So if you want to use a white version of your controller, you can also do that here. Once you have this done, you should be able to start pressing some of your buttons and you should automatically see them being highlighted on your screen. Now, lucky for me, I had no compatibility issues with my controller. I am using an actual official Xbox One controller. So other devices may vary, but for me, it worked 100% without actually having to set up anything. But if you do want to customize some of your controls, you can click on the burger menu right here and click on the info option. We're going to get this little pop-up screen that's going to give us a bunch of different settings and information that we can read into. So if you want to remap some of your buttons, simply click remap buttons up on top. Click on the player you want to edit and then you should see all currently inputted buttons. If you want to add new button mappings, simply click the button at the bottom and then you'll get this little pop up and you can change anything you want here. And if you want to change the skin for your controller, you can come up to the adopt the skin option up here. You can agree to the terms and conditions and then test out some of the skins. You can also buy and donate. I would recommend doing it if you're going to be using this a lot and you're going to be using the skins. It will help out the creator as I feel this is a really cool software and it offers a lot to OBS and it's super easy to set up. But once you're happy with the skin, we can set up one more thing in the background of our actual controller. We can change the color by coming up to the beside the controller option. We can see a paint bucket right here, which will open up this little color window and we can select whatever background color we want for behind our controller. This doesn't really affect it too much, but if you need to set it to a certain thing, you can do that really easily. But once you're happy with your controller settings and everything in here, we're going to be generating a URL, which we're going to be bringing into OBS to make our controller load up. To do this, you want to click on your burger menu in the top left again, and we're going to be coming to the generate URL option right here. You want to click this open, and then finally you'll get some more options and controller settings you can change. And of course, you can edit more in here if you wish. If you want to play around with some of your things and really customize it, I'd recommend playing around with some of these things you can select the controller you want to use in this case i'm going to be using player one to copy this we can click on it and it'll automatically copy for us from here all you want to do is open up your version of obs and we're going to be adding it to our obs scene so what i did was just create a new scene down here called custom controller you can create a new scene if you wish you don't necessarily have to and then on whatever scene we're using we're going to be adding a new source to do this come down to your sources box Click on the plus box right here, and we're going to be adding a new browser source. Now, in this case, I'm going to be naming it controller. And now we're going to be placing the URL with the new one that we just made for our controller. And we also have some other options on height and width, the FPS. Now, I'd recommend matching the FPS to whatever you're recording or using. So I'm recording at 60 frames, so I'm going to set the FPS to 60. But if you're streaming at 30, I'd recommend putting it at 30. So match it for whatever you're going to be using it for. And finally, we have some extra custom CSS that you can play around with if you know what you're doing. If you don't really know what you're doing, I'd recommend leaving this alone. It'll work just fine as is. And we can scroll down. We have some more options down here, but I'm not really going to be using any of these. Now, as you can see, once you accept this, you'll most likely have this big disconnected button right here. Don't worry. This is totally normal. To reconnect, all you need to do is press any button on your controller and it will automatically be updated. If I press any buttons on my controller, they will automatically be added here and everything works really, really well. Now you might notice some input delay, but for me, it was very minuscule. It didn't really affect my recording for anything too much, at least for what I noticed, but it worked really, really well. Now, one more thing I should mention is you cannot minimize your browser if you want this to keep working. So for this to work, you cannot minimize your browser. So I'd recommend leaving it open in the background. You don't have to hide it away. Just put it behind another window, but leave it open for this to work completely flawlessly. And as you can see, it works really, really well. All my buttons seem to be mapped. Everything seems to be working just fine. And it's really, really easy to do. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I'm going to leave a link down below to my PayPal. I make all these videos for free. I work full time on the side. YouTube takes up a lot of work, but I always try to put the best videos out that I can. So if you want to support me to keep making videos, please check out the PayPal down below. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. Anyway, guys, until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.